Well, hello. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I guess here at our supermarket, it's like, um, well, first, he went when they opened, so there was a line to go into the store, and people were waiting for the store to open, and then in the store, uh, so in the, in the supermarket, it has aisles, right? Like, these are aisles. This is called an aisle. And the food is here. So they were making people wait. Only what only one person could go down the aisle. Only one person can go in the aisle at a time. So they have to wait here and then go to the next one and wait. Wait, so only one person can go. Um and everyone now is wearing masks. Um so it's funny, one week ago on Monday um, people were not wearing face masks, and so the people who were wearing them, it was like, it was weird. And now everyone is wearing it. So if you are not wearing it, then it's weird. Oh, it's forbidden to enter without the mask. Okay. Yeah, here, I think it's, you can, you can still go in the store. Um, they, they won't stop you, but it's now you should wear one. Didn't do anything. Brush your teeth, wash your face, now it's time for English. Awesome. Yeah, I'm okay. We just cleaned our we cleaned our refrigerator and have some new food. I'm okay today. <laughs> yeah, it just feels like it feels like Monday, like um I'm okay today. <laughs> yeah, it just feels like, it feels like Monday, like, um, we should be doing something different. It's not the weekend anymore, but still home. So this is what, like four, uh, three weeks now? Four weeks. Four weeks, four weeks for us of being home, um, which is fine. <laughs> so we're here. Yeah, I'm okay. Awesome. Did you guys do anything fun yesterday? Yesterday. We just talked to our friends yesterday and um, just trying to relax a little bit. Trying not to read the news too much and trying not to be too stressed out. But yeah. That's about it. It's it's weird, like, we don't have a lot of food options at the store. You know, like the things we might normally buy, maybe they don't have them. But, but I'm very happy because we have food and that's, that's all we need. Food and toilet paper. <laughs> So if you are, I see, I see lots of familiar names. Thank you guys. Thanks for coming. Um, if you are new, my name is Hannah and uh, today we are going to play some games to practice what we have learned. So we have been learning about the past tense, the present perfect tense, the parts of speech, and so we're going to practice using those things. Yeah, I don't know. Is it is it crazy where you live, the toilet paper situation? Here, now we are only allowed to buy one toilet paper and there isn't a lot at the store. Right? Was there much? There were maybe ten. Ten. Of those. Ten small, small packages of toilet paper. Um... <laughs> So, you know, the first 10 people can get some, get some, I don't know, I don't Everyone understand. Got Everyone got toilet paper, yeah, I bet they did. Was doing homework most of the day. Yeah, I think a lot of people do that. <laughs> right, Sunday, we say we're supposed to rest on Sunday, but um, I think I did that too when I was at school. I would do a lot of homework on Sunday. 
<laughs> huh? But I did homework every day, so... <laughs> yeah, some games, some games. Simple games, easy games. <laughs> awesome, cool. So if you guys have any questions or anything you want to talk about, just tell me. And anything you want to learn, want to do, just ask. So we will do a, a quick review of what we have learned the past uh, few times. And then we'll try to play some games. Alright, so we learned about the parts of speech. It was this last Monday? So there are eight parts of speech. Sometimes we say that there are nine. So there are nouns. Articles go with a noun. These two are together. They always come together. Pronouns like ah, uh, you, we, they, he, she, it, me, you. Verbs. Verbs are things we do. Adjectives describe things. Is it big, small, yellow, purple, pink, round, um, funny, ugly, beautiful. Adverbs describe a noun. So he runs quickly. He runs slowly. He is. He speaks quietly. Um, they often have ly at the end. Not always, but often. Best, the best, the worst. Prepositions. We talked about those. We Prepositions, remember you can think about an airplane and a cloud. It goes through the cloud, over the cloud, under the cloud, between the clouds, in the cloud, out of the cloud. So all those words are prepositions. Through, in, out, over, under, with, by. They talk about two places, how they are related, or two times, how they are related. And conjunctions, we talked about a lot <laughs> on Saturday. So we have fanboy conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, F -A -N -B, or, yet, and so. And we have interjections, whoa, hey, whoa, yikes, whoa, <laughs> I said whoa three times. Um, oh, wow, those are interjections. Great, so we have those, those are our parts of speech. Um, and all the words we use are, are somewhere in here. And we put these together and we make a sentence. And our sentences can be about uh, every day or things that happen again and again and again. And when things happen again and again, we just have our subject and our verb. I eat. We don't change the verb. We don't uh, add anything. It's just the verb. I eat. Um, but when we use he, she, or it, we add s on the verb. So he eats, she eats, it eats. Good. I'm glad Saturday was helpful. We are going to use some of those things to practice today. So we have every day. And this is a simple sentence. I eat. He eats. She eats. It eats. And we can talk about something right now. What are you doing? I am eating. Right? He is eating. She is eating. They are eating. Okay. No problem. Don't, no need to be sorry. This is, this is just, I am here. If you are here, you are here, and I'm so happy. <laughs> so have a great half hour, <laughs> and we will be here when you come back. <laughs> we are eating. We are eating. So that is right now. I read, I am reading, I will read. Exactly. Oh, and in the past, I read... So here we have, we have, 
I read. And in the past, we say I read. It's R-E-A-D, R-E-A-D, but we say it differently. So now I read. I read. I am reading. I will read. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> it's like magic. Yeah. There are some other words like this. For example, I hear. I hear you. In the past, I heard you. Heard you. So it has here, but it's not heard, it's heard. So sometimes the EA EA does that. I heard you. Good. Future, I will eat. I will read. I will hear. So we can just use will plus the verb, or we can also say am, I am going to, right? He is going to, she is going to. So, oh, <laughs> my dogs. All right, so past, present, future. These are the basic times the basic tenses right these are tenses and this is called the present simple tense oh sorry I'm like sneezy we were spraying the cleaner on the groceries <coughs> okay <laughs> Um, yeah, our cleaner, like, just makes me sneezy. All right, present simple is I eat. It's simple, right? Just like a simple sentence, it's easy. Present simple. And this is called the present. It has two names. We can say present continuous. You could think it's continuing now. Or sometimes you will hear present progressive. Both of these are the names, present continuous or present progressive, same thing. And this is the simple, this is the simple past. Oh, thank you. <laughs> simple past. Um, we can also use the past continuous. That would be like, I was eating they were eating they were eating so this is just a little review um, and we can talk more about these if you have questions or we can have a, some more lessons on verbs they're always good to practice um, how how to remember but this is just a little bit of review and we're going to practice these today Present simple, present continuous. Now we also learned about the present perfect tense. And this is when something happened in the past, but it is still going now. Like I can say, we have learned these things. We have learned them. We're still learning them. We have learned them. Um, um, I have not been outside in two weeks, <laughs> right? I have not been. And for the present, this is the present perfect tense. We say have or has. I have 